you guys, it's Megan. So I thought I would share with you my nail polish collection. So this is gonna be my stash snapshot of my nail polishes. And I just went through them and decided to part with some of them. And um, now I am going to share with you all the ones that I have. So I have my collection now organized by brand. I've never done that before, but it kind of looks prettier in my containers. And I'm gonna turn you around to show you how I store them. So I have three separate little baskets, if you will. They're just like shallow, like these are like lids of stuff. And then this is just like a basket. And I just like how it separates the nail polishes. So I would love to get one of those like wall wall racks so you could see everything. And I think it would inspire me to paint my nails more, but I don't have one of those yet. So this is what I've been doing for a while. So I have my Butter Londons here, all of my OPIs, as you can tell, that's my favorite. Then I have Deborah Lipman. I have two Pixies and a Julep. Then over here I have like kind of one-offs is how it's getting. Um, Rescue Beauty Lounge, Wet n Wild, Revlon, Maybelline, Hard Candy, SC. This is, um, what is her name? Uh, Sally Hansen, hello. Sinful Colors, and this is Spoiled by Wet n Wild. L'Oreal, then I have China Glaze over here. Then this is an Indie Polish Enchanted Polish. And then I have the, um, the Golden Rose ones that Anna sent me. So I'm gonna set you guys up and go through all the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Butter London nail polishes. This one is Wallace. This is the most beautiful, you can see right there, olive green gold. OMG, I was obsessed with this last fall. It is so beautiful, literally the most beautiful olive green in the universe. So, oh my God, yes, this is a must have. Then I have Molly Coddled, and this is a cream light purple. As you can see, it's kind of separating because I haven't used this in a while, but this is a beautiful, like, Eastery type color, so like springtime. I think this is gorgeous. This is my first Butter London, and I've never looked back. This one is a recent acquisition. I love this. This is called Big Smoke, and it's a blue metallic. It is so gorgeous, and as you can tell, I got this from Marshalls for $4.99. How crazy is that? And it's just such a just a gorgeous dark blue with a little bit of a metallic look. It's not like super metallic on the nails, but you can tell that it's blue and not just black. So I love that one, and especially for the price. This is my newest Butter London, and this is All Hail the Queen. This is the most beautiful, creamy, tan color with gorgeous micro glitters. I hope that you can see those. Oh my lord, this is gorgeous. I repainted my nails this probably three times this month. It is so stunning. All of the Butter Londons that I've tried are a gorgeous formula. They don't chip easily on me, and I just love them. So this is definitely one of my absolute favorite nail polishes ever, but definitely one of my favorite Butter Londons, so this is a must-have. Okay, moving on to Deborah Lipman. I have a lot of her glitters. This one is called Today Was a Fairy Tale, and I love that all of her nail polishes are named after songs. So this one, why this has like a gold label is because this supposedly has real diamond dust in it, which is very, very fancy. But this is a gorgeous like bluish steel gray base with tons of silver glitters, both small and larger glitters. So I love this, of course, as a topper to nail polishes, but it also can be built up to be opaque. And I just love the way Deborah Lippmann bottles look. They look like gorgeous pieces of art. So I found a lot of these at Marshall's too, which is surprising. This is my first ever lemon, and this one is called On the Beach. And I love this. It's just a perfect, creamy sky blue. 
It is beautiful, again, kind of separating because I haven't used this in a while, but this was my first Deborah Lippman, as I said, and I have loved every single one that I've tried since then, but um, this is my only cream from her, and it is a gorgeous formula. This one is called Cleopatra in New York, and it's a black jelly base with gold glitters. Most of them are the bigger size, like the hexagon glitters. I like this one mostly for the colder months um, because it is that black base, so it looks beautiful over just a black cream or a dark nail polish, but um, yeah, I do really like that. I love this one. This one is called Just Dance, which is Lady Gaga's first famous song. And this one is beautiful as just a really opaque glitter on its own. It's like blue, teal, and green glitters. Oh my god, it is stunning. It makes me feel like a disco queen. And yeah, this is one of my favorites from her. Just look at that sparkle. Oh man. This was an awesome 100 point perk from Sephora. This is 99 Luft Balloons and it's one of her, I think, most famous glitters. Um, it's a pink jelly base with literally every color glitter in there. There's, it reminds me of like a birthday cake with all of the different colors. It is so cute, but I definitely would suggest putting a base coat underneath, like a opaque pink or any color that you would want because it does, like the jelly base doesn't ever build up to be very opaque. So this one, it was so cool and I'm glad that this was a 100 point perk. Okay, then I have this random Sally Hansen because it just fit in this spot. This one was called Haute Chocolate. I've had this for years, but it's one of my favorites. It's this gorgeous like reddish copper color. It is beautiful. This is one that I probably should work on using up because it is older um, and I do love it but um, yeah this is just like a random they don't even sell this anymore okay moving on to my OPIs oh wait let's get these two mini ones out of the way these are two mini china glaze ones and I have the other two in this other uh, section because that's just how they fit. These came in a set. This was their road trip set from this year, um, their road trip collection. There was more colors, but these are the only four that I kept. So they are um, Boho Blues, which is a periwinkle cream. Then this is I Break for Color, which is more of like an orangey red cream. This one I love. This is Dashboard Dreamer, and it's a light blue with a slight pinky duochrome. This one is really, really pretty. And then this one I love. It's like a peachy color, and this one is called Pinking Out the Window, even though I wouldn't call this pink. It's a very... The camera is picking up darker, but it's a very light peach. It is so cute. And um, yes, yeah, so I really like getting small little bottles. Oops, there goes one. But they do kind of get lost in my collection and I forget about them. So I need to use those some more. Okay, moving on to the OPIs. First, I have one Sephora by OPI, which as you probably know, Sephora no longer has this collection. They moved on to Formula X, but this is one of my favorites, and this is called Cartwheels on the Catwalk, which was a collaboration with Betsy Johnson, and these supposedly were supposed to have the Betsy Johnson perfume fragrance once they dried. I don't notice that, but I just love this color. It's a very light, baby, dusty, like cloud blue. It's beautiful. So um, I love this and I love Betsy Johnson. So I'm glad that I have this because you can't get it anymore. OPI is my all time favorite nail polish brand. Butter London is really like getting up there, but I have the most of OPI. So we have a few to get through. This one is called My Vampire is Buff. And this is just an awesome like cream color. So when I, I must, most of my nail polish purchases are random after I see someone that has a really nice nail polish color on and I get inspired. So I saw someone that had this type of color 
and I went out and this was the closest that I could find. It's a really, really nice cream color, just a basic color that everyone should have in their collection and it's actually pretty opaque for this type of color, so. This is one of my new favorites. This is called Glitzerland. It is the perfect gold. It is so metallic and so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I could wear this every day and be very happy. It is beautiful and I found this one on Amazon. This is one that I actually just bought today. This one is called Live Love Carnival. I think this was in their Brazil collection. Was that this year or last year? That's what I'm wearing on my nails now. It is so pretty. I just painted them so they're not exactly perfect. But this is one coat and it is completely opaque and it's so glossy and so pretty. Love this. I found this on sale at our Wegmans grocery store. They had a bunch of OPIs on sale for $6.99, which is an awesome price for OPI. So this is my newest and I it just makes me really happy. Then I have this one that's called Aloha from OPI, which is a similar color to the one I just bought. You really can barely tell the difference in the camera. That's like embarrassing. Um, but this one, the Aloha, is a little brighter and a little more orange, while the one that I just bought, the Live Love Carnival one, is a little more pink. So you probably don't need both, but I do like both of them. Then this one is also kind of similar. This one is called Are We There Yet? And this is just a beautiful, like, I don't know, salmon -y color with a duochrome of, t like, the same type of color. Um, it's really pretty. I bought this last year. Oh, this one's messing up the focus. I bought this last year after I was, again, inspired by someone that had this type of nail polish. And I just love that it had that little bit of that like shimmer to it. You can barely tell it on the nails unless you're in direct sunlight, but it's really, really pretty. So that one, again, an inspired purchase. This is one of my all-time favorites. This one is Congeniality is my middle name. I love this. We bought this on sale randomly at Ulta one, like, three years ago or something. I love this. It's so beautiful. I hope that you can tell all the dimension in here. It's like a purpley magenta color, but it has tons of gold shimmers in it. It is so beautiful. I love this. I always stare at my nails when I'm wearing this, and it's just really striking. And I believe you can still find this on Amazon if you're interested, but this is one of my all-time favorite polishes. This is Planks a lot. This is a cream. People say like blurple. I guess that's kind of what this is. It's like a bluish purple, but a lighter version of it. It's really pretty. I love this for spring and summer. It kind of reminds me of Butter London Molly Coddled, but a little bit um, deeper, if you can tell. So they're the same type of color family, but the Planks a lot is definitely more blue compared to Molly Coddled, but definitely a pretty springy summer color. This one is one of my faves. This is You're Such a Budapest. The perfect periwinkle color. It is so gorgeous. I have this on my toes right now, and it's just such a happy color. This one does need three coats to be completely opaque, but it doesn't get bubbly like a lot of polishes can. It's a very, very thin formula, which um, most OPIs are pretty opaque. This one just happens to be more of a thin consistency, but the color is so worth it, and I'm staring at my toes right now, and it just is so cute. This one is so awesome. My friend Sam sent this to me a while ago. This one is called Just Spotted the Lizard, and this is one of those, like, crazy... I don't even know what these are called, like, shifting colors. It goes from, like, blue to, um kind of a coppery color to green. Like, there's a, a lot of green in this one. Um, it is more, I would say, intensely changing in the bottle than when it's on your nails, but it's still a really, really nice color, and um, I just love that Sam sent it to me, and it makes me happy when I wear it. This one is Mermaid's Tears. This one is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection years ago. I found this at Marshall's a few years ago, and everyone was like nuts over this collection, and I was glad to find it because it's a pretty unique color to what I have. It's like a murky 
greenish blue. It's really nice. It's a cream formula, and if you could find this or if you have it and you forgot about it, this is a really nice color um, for this time of year or really any time of year because it is that more murky color, so it kind of works in the fall and winter as well. My all, all, all time favorite nail polish is Linkin Park at Midnight. I do not like Linkin Park at Dark. I think that it's basically just black, even though it's a dark purple. This one has a beautiful, I hope that you can tell right there, silver micro glitter in it that just makes it that much prettier to me. I went through an entire bottle of this, which is pretty much unheard of for me with nail polish. This is just my go-to all year round. I crave this color, so I love it. We'll always have this in my collection and definitely would recommend um, Lincoln Park at midnight much over Lincoln Park after dark, so definitely pick that one up. This one is so fun. This is from the Katy Perry collection. This is called Last Friday Night, and this is a light blue jelly base with lots of different color glitter. This one is an awesome topper. If you guys do accent nails, this makes an awesome accent nail. Um, I just love it. It looks beautiful in the bottle, just as beautiful on the nails. They're like kind of clearish glitter pieces, if you know what I mean. They're like that opalescent, really beautiful. So if you can still find this, I would definitely pick it up because it's it makes me happy. So I hope it would make you happy too. My final OPI is such a classic red color. I love this. I found this again at Marshalls for $3.99. Like, are you kidding me? And this one is called Romantically Involved. I'm not sure what collection this was in, but it's literally the perfect classic red. You don't need another red in your collection if you have this type of red. And it's just the perfect cream. It's opaque in one coat. Gorgeous. Love this. Okay, my only julep nail polish that I still have in my collection is Brielle, and this is a really unique color to me. It's like a terracotta orange. Beautiful formula, so opaque, beautiful cream. It is gorgeous. I used to be subscribed to julep and haven't been for years, and I got rid of most of my julep polishes just because I had a lot of the same colors already in my collection. Um, but this I love, and I think that it's very unique, so I I do recommend this one if you are a Julep member and you want to use your points on something. This is a really pretty color. Then I have two Pixie glitters that I honestly have probably only used once. I got these a few Christmases ago, um, but I can't bear to get rid of them because I think that they're so like essential for a collection. It's gold glimmer and diamond glimmer. They're just perfect basic glitters, so I hang on to them just in case I want some sort of glitter accent or if I'm feeling extra specially sparkly. I just like having them in, in my collection knowing that they're there if I want them, so I don't use these a lot, but I don't think I would ever part with them because they are really nice and they're, like I said, essential to me. Okay, moving on to my next basket. So this is an awesome white. This is the Revlon Color Stay, and this is in Sure Thing. I've always wanted to have a white polish, but all of them were so streaky and not very good, and this is probably the best that I found. I heard about this from Terra Baby Z, and this was a great recommendation. It's pretty cheap for a nail polish, and it really is a really nice white. So I do recommend this for a white polish. Then for a really basic black, I've had this for years, the Wet n Wild Wild Shine, and this is in two or 424A, and it's called a Black Cream. So basically says it all. It's just a black cream color. I don't use this a lot, but I think that this is a total essential in anyone's collection. So this, I believe, is like 99 cents, and it does the trick. It's very opaque, and when I used to do galaxy nails a lot, I would always start off with this. So I think that this is an awesome polish for the price. I have two Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes. This one is called Orbis Non Sufficit. It's a weird name to me. I never know how to really pronounce it, and whenever I try to show it, it never focuses. So let's see if it'll 
help me out today, but um, it's just a dark forest green cream color. Beautiful formula, totally opaque in one coat, and what's cool about Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes is that they really only have good ingredients in them. I'm not too knowledgeable about what ingredients are bad in nail polishes, but these have like none of the bad stuff. Um, they are more expensive. Here we go. It's going to focus, I think. Um, I think they're about $20 a bottle, but they're such beautiful formulas. Like I said, I only have two, but this one is so nice. It's just that deep, really beautiful green color. And the other one I have is Scrangy, and this was in their original blogger collection. I think they now have had three blogger collections, and I wanted to buy more, but I have so many nail polishes, I don't really want to invest in such expensive ones right now. Um, but this is a beautiful blue and purple duo chrome. It is absolutely stunning. Nothing I have ever seen has come close to this, and it's just so, so gorgeous. So I love both of the Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes I have, and if you're trying to go more natural in all of your beauty products, check out Rescue Beauty Lounge because they're a really awesome company. Okay, I have two um, Maybelline Color Show nail polishes. This one is Twilight Rays, which is an awesome black with tons of gold glitter. It is so cool on the nails. It really looks exactly like this on your nails. And these are like $2.99 or something, so they're really cheap to get some interesting colors. And uh, yeah, it kind of has a greenish tint to it, but it is like a black or super dark green with gold glitter. Then my other one is this Brocade Nail Polish in Gilded Rose. I'm not sure if this is permanent or if this was limited edition, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous rose gold, super intense glitter. It is so beautiful. It's a total bitch to take off, but it is truly, truly beautiful, and it looks like a princess nail polish. This is my only hard candy. This one is Beetle. What is this called? Yeah, Beetle. Um, it's a really awesome, super intense, shifting color. It's really, really cool to look at. I don't even know if I've ever used this, to be quite honest. But it looks really awesome. But I do think that I actually need to use it for the first time. But look at that. That's, like, so cool. So, yeah, for some reason, I haven't ever used that. Another shade shifting polish is this Rimmel Metal Rush, and honestly, this has no name on it. I've tried to talk about this several times, but it doesn't have a name. I love this color. It's such an interesting, like, deep bronze with green and maroon, and it's just really beautiful, but yeah, it says no name on it. So if you can ever find this, I would really recommend it, but I can't even tell you what name it is. It just says, like, the barcode number? I don't even know. So this one's beautiful, but it should have had a name. Okay, this is a really, really beautiful polish from L'Oreal. This one is called Rough Around the Edges, number 139. This one, I love how it looks. Like, look at that shine. It's just a really dark black charcoal base with crap tons of silver glitter. But these are the ones that dry and have a rough texture, which I really don't like. Um, I love how this looks, but it feels like pavement on your nails. Like, it's so weird. Um, so I love how it looks, but I don't wear it a lot because of that reason. So I need to use this more, but it just looks so awesome on your nails. Then I have this L'Oreal Charmed, I'm sure, which is the perfect rose gold. I love this polish. I think that it's so, like, feminine, and it's just so pretty. So I don't need any other rose gold polishes because this one does the trick, and yeah, it's just really, really nice. My only Essie is Tour de Finance, and it's this beautiful hot pink with a hotter pink shift, like, not shift, but shimmer running through it. You can tell right here. 
It is so beautiful. I really do not like Essie polishes. I have no luck with them. They all apply streaky and they chip so easily. So I've gotten rid of all except for this one from my collection. And this is so beautiful. This is the outlier to me of Essie. This one is so opaque, so easy to apply. It lasts for a week on me. It is gorgeous, and Sam also gave this to me, and I love it. It's one of my absolute favorites for summer, so love this. Thank you so much, Sam. My only Sally Hansen is this one called Blush at Dusk. This is such a nice, just nude color if you have fair skin. This literally looks like mannequin nails, which is what I wanted when I was purchasing this. These Sally Hansen ones that I've tried are really impressive. Just most of them are, I had similar colors so I got rid of them, but this one I really like is just that mannequin nail looking one. And it's pretty opaque, which is different for this type of color because they're usually pretty streaky, but I do like that. This is my only Spoiled by Wet n Wild. This is one of my all-time favorite summer colors, and this one is called... Um, Flamingo, Plastic Flamingo. I bought this a few years ago and I loved it to death. I don't wear it as much anymore, but it's just the perfect hot pink. It is so pretty and so neon. I don't even think you can tell in my camera, but it is so gorgeous. I don't know if they sell this anymore. I honestly haven't noticed it in my CVS, but this one is awesome and one of my faves. Moving on to Sinful Colors, this is one of the coolest polishes ever. This one is called Faceted, and it's like a jelly base with bar glitter. And I don't have any other polishes in my collection that have bar glitter, but this one is so freaking beautiful. You can see the shine, even though it's not focusing in my camera. But it's like every color imaginable. It's mostly blue and purple and like a greenish but this one is so awesome. I really love that glitter. And then my other sinful colors is called Winterberry, and this is a really pretty darkish, dusty purple with a little bit of a shine, like a whitish shimmer to it. And this one's, it's just like a pretty color. There's nothing like super unique about it, but it's just pretty. Okay, moving on to my last basket. I have some China Glaze. This one is so awesome. This one is called Twinkle Lights, and this is the epitome of Christmas. It's every, like, stereotypical Christmas color in a glitter. So it's gold and green and red, and it is beautiful. You can build it up to be opaque, and it is just so happy and so festive. And, of course, my camera. Oh, my gosh, look at that, that bokeh. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! Um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful color and definitely something that I only wear for Christmas. This one is called Ahoy, and this is a magenta with a bunch of gold and kind of peach glitter. It is so pretty. OMG. It really looks exactly like this on your nails when you build it up. And yeah, that's, oh my gosh, just look at that. OMG. This one is called Flyin' High, and this is like a really deep teal color. This is just one of my go-to types of colors in fall, winter. I love dark cream colors, so this one really speaks to me during that time of the year. My last China Glaze is called Ring in the Red, and it's just a red glitter. It's like those pixie polishes, but just red, and it's one of those things I don't use a lot, but when I do want a red glitter, I'm glad that I have this. I have one indie nail polish, and it has, like, stuff on it for some reason. This is called Enchanted Polish. That's the brand, and this is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and this is just a true holographic silver. It is so beautiful. It really looks exactly like that on your nails. It is seriously one of the coolest polishes ever. Finally, I have four golden rose nail polishes that my friend Anna sent me from Poland, and I just think that is so cool. So this one is number 21. It's just a cream 
orange color. It's like a creamsicle color. It is so pretty. I honestly haven't even worn this yet. It's very similar to what I'm wearing on my nails now, but um, I'm excited to try that. This is one of my favorites. You can tell how much I've used it. And this one is, oh no, the number rubbed off. Oh no, 231. It says right there. Yeah, 231 from Golden Rose is stunning. It is like this dusty mauve color with so much gold shimmer. Love this, love this, love this. If you live somewhere where you can buy Golden Rose, I highly recommend this. This one is a cream, and this is number 80. It's like a really deep Merlot cream. It's kind of purpley, but like mostly Merlot. Um, so I don't think I've tried this yet either. And then the final one I have tried, and this is number 31, and it's a like metallic purple color. It's really, really pretty, and it is really opaque, which... I think this is a drugstore brand, so that's really awesome, um, but this one is super pretty as well. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my nail polish collection. Here are all of my polishes piled up now, um, but this was so much fun. I was so glad to finally show you all my polishes as my collection does kind of change every time that I do my nail polish collection videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you saw any of your favorites in my collection or if there are any that you think I would really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon. Bye!